to my channel. My name is Danielle and today we are going to be doing a closet tour. Um, just so you guys know, it isn't like 100% done. There's some changes I want to make. There's some little rough edges that need a little bit work still, but that's okay. I wanted to get this a video up for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and let's get on to this video. Right up here I just have some garland that I got from Michaels and then there's this cute little Chanel Av sign that I had someone on Instagram made for me. Um, right here I just have um, a Juicy Couture robe. I got that from TJ Maxx. We just have a Victoria's Secret scarf and a Victoria's Secret robe as well. Um, I do have this full length mirror right here. Um, I can't remember where I got it from, but it's definitely way bigger than I thought it was. And eventually I would like to move that mirror to on this wall right here, which I'll show you guys that in a minute. But um, I also have some summer hats on top of my mirror right there because I had no clue where else to put it. So I just put those there for right now. So right by the door, this is where I wanted to hang my mirror right here. Eventually, maybe, um, I have this cute little picture frame from TJ Maxx. And it has two little Polaroids right there in the picture frame. Like, they're really tiny. tiny. I just kind of stuck them in there. But, um... I really liked this picture frame. I actually kept the picture in it that it came with because I thought it went with the theme of my room. And it's just got little tulips on it and I think it's so cute. So moving on to this part of my closet room. This is nothing too exciting or crazy. But this was an actual closet. And we ended up having the door stay off because I wanted it to look more boutique-y vibe. Um, I do have more of that garland up there. And then I hung a curtain rod with some curtains there as well. And um, I just got these curtains from TJ Maxx. They have pearls on them and they're super cute. I'll show you them when I get close up. Okay, so moving along to right here. This is what I was talking about. This curtain has like cute little pearl detailing. I thought it was super cute. I actually kept the doors off because I wanted to make this look more like boutique tiki vibe-esque and um this is the part that I was talking about it's a little rough right there so we are going to ignore that now getting close in here I just have these uh two Ikea shelves right here they are not my favorite I do eventually want to get like a glass cabinet to put in here to store everything to make it look more like luxurious and everything um on top here I just have some Starbucks cups I got this one from an Instagram account as well I got that from TJ Maxx and then down below there's just some planner stuff and I actually made this cup right here. It's super cute. It's got bling and like little pearls on it. Um, just some random stuff on these shelves right here. Some phone cases. This little um, flower box down here I got from Tanya on YouTube here. She's amazing and super sweet. So I supported her and got one of those for in here. And then as you guys can see, I am definitely obsessed with necklaces. I have a ton and I wear them all. But um, on the top right here, I just have like my shorter ones my medium length ones and then on the bottom here are more of my longer ones this for the most part is like my silver side jewelry and then there's some like rose gold back there as well and then yes there's another side this side has most of my gold jewelry on here for the most part and then some like gunmetal colors as okay, well okay so moving on to like this part of my wall next to the actual closet of in this room um, I got this cute little like tack board thing from TJ Maxx. It's very like vintage Victorian and I just hung up some of my glitzy earrings on there. So nothing too crazy but I thought it would be adorable. Um, I also have this little like spinny earring holder. This has most of my gold earrings on it. I got this from Shein like a while ago. We just have some lotion, some of my perfumes displayed on this little cute glass tray from TJ Maxx. That's from TJ Maxx. A lot of my stuff is from TJ Maxx. And then I also have this one as well. This just has a random assortment of earrings as well. And I believe I got this from Shein too. And then I thought it was pretty cool to like buy a bracelet holder and store my headbands on because they were just all in a drawer. And to be honest, I wasn't like really using them as much. So I thought it'd be super cute to put it so on So moving there. down below, I'm not going to open up this stuff because it's pretty messy in there. There's just a random like stuff in there. But in this little glass cabinet drawer on the first shelf, I just had my Louboutins, my red bottoms. Those were my wedding shoes. They are super pretty and sparkly. 
I absolutely loved them, but I do have to admit they were super uncomfortable. But they're so cute to display in there. And then on this shelf, I just have some like designer boxes and a little bag back there. And then down below, we have these glittery like gold shoes. I got these from DSW a while ago. They kind of made me think of the Valentino shoes, so I picked them up. And I have to say, these are by far the comfiest heels that I've ever worn in my life. I absolutely love them, and you guys will see in a minute, I ended up getting them in black as well. So on the first shelf right here, I just have my Gucci Marmon back. I actually got that from Fashion File a while ago, and I got it for a really good deal. It came with a box and like dust bag and everything, which I really appreciate when buying like used designer, pre-loved designer things. And it's like a mauve purple color. I love this bag. It's so cute, and I've been wanting it for my collection for a while. So that's what that looks like, and I just have like two crystals on here as well. Moving down to the next shelf, I just have a Chanel bag back there, and then I have these really sparkly, like, glittery heels. I got these um, for my sister-in-law's wedding a while ago, and they're Steve Madden, and they're super cute. They're not too uncomfortable, but they're a little uncomfortable, but I did end up wearing them the whole night. And then down below, I, of course, got the same exact heels in black. I love them. They're like a patent, like, black leather. I absolutely adore these. They are super comfortable, and I highly recommend these. So it's kind of hard to see, but this is where um, I'm standing by my entrance of this room. On top right here, I just have a chandelier that I got from Home Depot. My husband and his father helped set that up for me. And then moving down below, I just have this cute, like, tufted ottoman that I got from Wayfair. And then this pink fuzzy rug that I got from TJ Maxx as well. Alright, so moving along up here, this is, like, nothing too crazy. But this is, like, my IKEA storage system. Um, I did customize it to fit everything that I wanted to. But up here, I just have a floral bear that I got from, like, AliExpress. I have my, like, vision board up there of goals that I want for this year. And then I also collect the Starbucks coffee mugs for when I travel around the world. I try to pick one of those up. Um, up here, there's nothing too crazy, just some cute mugs and then some Louis Vuitton wallets that I keep in their boxes. And then moving down to the next shelf right here, I just have this cute, like, studded Michael Kors bag right there on a little cake stand. We have some little flower roses right there. Um, just some designer books. This I got in Hawaii last year when I went. I actually made it myself. I bought the glass jar, filled it with sand, and some cute seashells. Okay, so down on the next shelf, we have all of my crystals and stuff. I am not going to lie. I have no clue what they mean or anything. And I'm probably going to get, like, a lot of hate for them. But I just think they're so pretty, and I've always loved them as a kid. So I just have some displayed over here. I got some little, like towers right there and then this I actually got from my sister-in-law and brother-in-law when they went to Aruba so I just put that next to it because I thought it was cute and then moving down to the next shelf we just have another Michael Kors purse with some designer books and then a little like bedazzly thing right there with like some paper clips um, I'm not going to go into too much detail right here. I'm not going to open this up, but this is where I keep my bras. We have some socks in this drawer. I love socks, so that drawer is pretty full. And then down below in this drawer, we just have bathing suits and some scarves in the back as well. Okay, so moving on to this unit. This is like the medium size unit, and the one I showed you before is like the skinnier, smaller one. Um, this is too, like, rose deep pretty much. I just keep some shoes up there. And then down here, this is where I pretty much keep, like, my tans, my whites, and my pink clothing. And I bought these hangers from TJ Maxx. They're just the velvet ones with rose gold hangers. And then on this part, I decided to get the glass tops. I thought they were super, like, boutique-y and luxurious. So I got this part, and then below... I have this pull-out drawer, and yes, what a big surprise. There's more jewelry in there, but I thought it was kind of super cute. This is more of like my designer-inspired jewelry, and we just have some random hair clips and stuff. This wallet my husband got for our anniversary one year, and it just has my initials on there, and then that is my Prada wallet. Um, I did, that was like one of my first like 
luxury like purchases ever so I will cherish that forever. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail but this is just my like undergarment so I'm not gonna open that drawer and in this drawer we just have my workout clothes we have all my black leggings sports bras some kind of shirts there and more shirts here and then down below in the next drawer this one's kind of messy so don't mind it but I just kind of keep all of my summer wear in here there's like set pieces in here shorts and stuff you name it that's pretty much in here here. And then moving along to up here, we just have some designer displayed boxes up here. Um, I work at TJ Maxx for one of my jobs, so that's just displayed up there. That's just like a little certificate that I got. And then we have more shoes displayed up here, and that is also two rows deep. This is where I keep more of my colored section stuff. So we have like my blacks, my grays, and my browns, and then it goes from like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and so on forth. Right here yeah. I did another glass top right here, and then when I originally bought this, they didn't have the inserts in stock, so this kind of looks like a disaster. But I just kind of keep my belts in here. We have some wallets in here, some little designer pens, this cute mirror. It's kind of just all random stuff. And then I have more designer stuff back here that I keep in their boxes. They're just like little card holders and like some jewelry Now pieces. moving along to this drawer, there's nothing too exciting. It's kind of messy, but I have pajamas in this drawer. And then this is also the bigger unit that I got for this part, in case you guys wanted to know. And then in this drawer, we just have a graphic shirts, t-shirts, um, nothing too crazy, but yeah. And then in this drawer, um, we just have like pullover sweaters, hoodies, and that kind of stuff because where I live, you just never know what the weather is going to be, so you always want to make sure that you have something warm to wear, so that's that. And then up here, we just have a little tote, um, a purse, and then a backpack, and then I have some more shoes there. This is another skinny unit. And then right here, I just kind of keep my longer cardigans, dresses, rompers, and stuff there. And then on the bottom, we just keep my denim jeans. It pulls out, and I just keep all my blue denim jeans there. So that is the end of this closet tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos. I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.